Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel and so we're not gonna do a lot of talking, just like, comment, and subscribe. So first I already cleaned my area, so now I'm gonna put some hand sanitizer on even though I wash my hands already, but just to be safe, you know? And now I'm putting on my gloves. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the best clear lip gloss ever. So let's get started. So I already poured my base in a bowl. Now I'm adding some coconut oil. So if you're making a clear lip gloss, you're gonna need coconut oil because it is a clear oil so in total i added about 10 uh scoop of the plastic spoons that you see of coconut oil so the way that i did this is i went little by little so i added three spoons worth of coconut oil each time until i reached up to 10 spoons to find my perfect consistency the thing is guys you got to make sure you really mix your product together so that you don't have oils left i tend to see a lot a lot of that were lip glosses from um, other businesses where the pigment separates or something like that. Or if it's a clear lip gloss, the oil separates from the base. Do not do that. Take your time to mix it. Do not go overboard with the oil and do not go underboard with it. As I was saying, do not go underboard or overboard with the oil because you do not want your lip gloss to be sticky, nor do you want your lip gloss to be runny. So that's why I say whenever you're doing um, lip glosses, have a notebook right next to you so you could have a formulation for it. So right here, I'm gonna add a couple more spoons of lip gloss of lip gloss of coconut oil and i'm pretty sure this is our last three sets of spoon yes it is and then now i'm gonna add some of my vitamin e oil if you guys know please when you buy stuff from me do check the description to see the oils that we use because the jason vitamin e oil does contain different oils in there i'm also gonna add some of my preservative cap too uh what this does is it basically help with bacteria because some People tend to put their lip glosses near water and stuff like that, so it helps keeping it fresh, I guess. So now I'm giving that a quick little mix, and I'm obsessed with the consistency in this gloss, guys. It is so, so glossy. So here's a close-up of how it looks like and how the consistency will be. It is not too runny. It is not runny at all, actually. It's not runny, and it's not sticky. It is just perfect. And it looks a little bit cloudy, but once you put it in the tube, it will look clear. So after doing that, I'm going to go in with my cotton candy flavoring oil from Get Suckers. So when you're making a clear lip gloss, I suggest using a uh, flavoring oil that's clear so not like cherry because cherry will give it like a red tint so I'm going with cotton candy it could go with marshmallow and stuff like that so this is how it looks like now let's fill in our tubes I actually have tubes washing I'm um, drying right now so these are the first two that actually dry so I'm gonna use those but I'll come back later to fill in the other in the rest of the tubes but taking my syringe I already came from the pack I'm gonna um wipe it down even though the cap was covered i'm still gonna wipe it down to make sure that it's clean to, just to be safe so the way that you're gonna do this is you're gonna before you add the pipette at the top we're gonna get the lip gloss a quick little mix and then after we're gonna um pull in the syringe to pull in the gloss i hope i'm explaining that the right way but this is how i did it i did that and i filled it all the way to the top once i filled it all the way to the top i'm gonna go back in with my napkin my paper towel napkin whatever you want to call it and i'm gonna clean clean the tip of the syringe because i'm gonna add the pipette and i don't want gloss everywhere because that means my gloves my hands gonna get sticky when i do that so <laughs> now see as you can tell right now i am wiping it down and then i'm gonna put in my pipette make sure to cup cut your pipette on both ends so we're gonna fill in the lip gloss oh my god yeah i'm out of breath Woo! all right so filling in the lip gloss and i'm using my blue cap tubes we're in the process of changing our uh, lip gloss tube colors but i'm trying to use the ones that i have now before i get new ones anyways so now we're gonna fill it in and i love filling in lip glosses as well as watching them because it is so satisfying so this is what i mean when i said it was gonna be clear once you put in the lip gloss it may look foggy on in the bowl don't make sure because guys you are using a kind of like a foamy bowl and stuff like that so it's gonna look a little bit foggy until you put it in your tube which is clear and it's gonna look clear and it's gonna look bomb just saying so watch me fill in the second tube and then i'll come back later and you guys are gonna see me fill in the rest of the tube once they dry <laughs> so this is what the gloss looks like it 
All right, so after I fill in it, fill it in. <laughs> after I fill it in, I'm going to move my gloss out the way and I'm going to clean the top of the tube with a paper towel because of the residue for when I pulled for when I pulled out the syringe. Now I'm going to put in my stoppers. By the way, guys, I do have a vendor for these tubes. If you guys want a video on how to find vendors, let me know. I'll make a quick little video for you guys. Anyway, so I'm post um, putting on my stoppers and everything. And then we're going to close that off with the cap. So I'm obsessed with these blue tools, but I do not. I don't really like colors in general. So that's why I'm changing my, co my brand colors. But yeah. So this is how the gloss is going to look once it's done. Give it a couple of um, seconds to just sit and settle and stuff like that. But when you put it on your lips, bro, it is so pretty. So that is how I make my clear lip gloss. And these are glossy and they smell so good on the lips. So thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to say I'll see you next time because we have a couple more bottles to fill. So we're going to fill these couple of bottles and then I'm going to say goodbye. <laughs> Okay, we're back so i put the tubes in the coldest part of my house so they could dry quicker and they did but my lip gloss was still sitting for a good 15 to 20 minutes whatever so now i'm giving it a quick little stir to make sure that everything is still incorporated like y'all see that consistency oh booyah anyways i'm gonna fill in my syringe again and we're gonna start f uh, filling the all of these tools that you see in that little tray I forgot how much that this batch makes and I washed less tubes and I have a lot like a lot of lip gloss baits left over so I actually put some more tubes to dry to wash and dry and stuff like that and I'll fill that off of camera but as of right now I'm just gonna show you guys me filling these tubes that's in the tray so like I mentioned before, after I fill in the syringe, I'm going to clean off the tip just so the process is not messy. And we're just going to start filling in the tube. Y'all see them gold in the blue tubes? They're cute. They're cute. Anyways, I'm going to just stop talking because apparently I can't really talk. And I'll just come back towards the end of this clip. <laughs>
and we are back guys we're getting closer to finishing these tubes i believe this is the last tube that i have to fill in with the lip gloss base but this lip gloss is so glossy and clear that i'm actually obsessed with it so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well as turn on that post notification bell on to be notified whenever we post a video and make sure to follow us on our instagram we have a giveaway a group giveaway coming up soon so make sure to follow us to be a part of it and just follow the rules so i'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!